Alrighty guys, so season 9 is about to end and that means season 10 is about to start. I thought I'd let you guys know how season 9 is going to end and this whole process because I'm telling you guys right now, there is going to be a huge event and I mean a huge event happening. You guys are not going to miss what's going on and as well, I'm going to show you guys how there's going to be possibly and most likely a brand new map entirely coming to season 10. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Make sure you watch throughout the whole entire thing because you're not going to miss any of the information regarding anything that's going on in this video. So yo, yeah, what's up? guys it's your boy i'm nick Arik here welcome back to the channel i hope you're having a great day or night so far in today's video like i said we're going to be going over how season 9 is going to end and how season 10 is going to start can we please go for 25 likes on this video i really appreciate it you guys don't understand i never actually asked for a like goal so if you can hit 25 likes i would really appreciate that and as well once you guys let me know down below in the comments real quick where is your favorite spot to land in season 9 is it haunted hills is it pleasant is it neo tilted because one of these places Places, if not all of them might be gone so let me know where's your favorite place to land in season 9 or in general in past seasons down below in the comments already I've already been talking for way too long let's get right into the video so in this video, I'm going to be going over three parts majorly. The first part is going to be how there's going to be possibly, uh, most likely, a brand new map coming within Season 10. The next part after that is going to be this huge event happening within Season 9. Going into Season 10, that's a huge event, by the way. You guys are not going to want to miss that. And as well, the last part of this video, I'm going to show you guys the storyline and how it's going to end and how it's going to start in Season 10. So let's go over how there's going to be a brand new map within Season 10. So Donald Mustard actually said back in Season 2, I know you're probably thinking right now, Nick, Season 2, why is that important? So if you think about it, right, I'm going to show you guys that clip, letting you guys know what he said and everything like that. But what he said was there's going to be a brand new map coming to Fortnite eventually. And keep in mind, they plan these seasons ahead of time and ahead of time. I guarantee by Season 2, they were not planning Season 10. But think about it. Season 10, it's double digits. It's a major milestone of Fortnite's career. And he said, you're going to see the clip, like I said, that there's going to be a brand new map coming eventually. So I'm going to roll that. That clip and then we're gonna talk about it right after yeah you got those two guys down there um okay we've had some questions about is there ever gonna be a new map for black for uh battle royale kind of like PUBG's done with the desert map or whatever is there gonna be something else in the future or are you just gonna kind of tool around with this one uh there will definitely be uh, a new map at some point so you just heard that Donald Mustard said there's going to be a brand new map coming to Fortnite at some point. That some point is going to be Season 10. How we know this is because the information I just told you, that only backs up the thing I'm going to bring up. There's actually going to be a live event or an event in general that is going to cause these map changes. And that is going to be, if you guys remember, the huge monster that was in Polar Peak, the giant eyeball. I'll put it on the screen right now. That is actually called Caddis. And Caddis is going to be fighting a giant robot that they're making over a pressure plant. I'll explain right now. If you guys don't know what that means pressure plant as you guys know it got changed about last week into what we know and look at it now that's actually a robot factory how we know about that is because Fortory posted a leak image of a fort bite in game on his twitter he posted this accessible inside a robot factory located at pressure plant so as you can see we're gonna have to search a fort bite at some point and it's located in a robot factory and that robot factory is in pressure plant so at this point, we knew it's going to be a robot factory, but the thing is, we didn't know is, are they going to build one big giant robot, or are they going to build these mini robots that are going to be fighting the Caddis monster? Well, I'm so happy I waited till today to make this video, because last night, they actually leaked out what the robot's foot is going to look like, and by judging what the foot looks like, I'm going to put a picture on screen right now, you can see this thing is going to be absolutely massive. If you want to go in the game for yourself, figure out how big the pressure plant thing is, to scale it for yourself, you can go in there, and honestly, you can obviously obviously tell this is going to be insane so a giant robot is going to be fighting a giant monster whatever you want to call it that is definitely going to be causing some map changes as you guys know this backs up to what i said about the whole map being changed and as well it explains to you guys the huge event that is going to be happening and we might actually be able to see this event live in game. But how we actually know this is Fortory posted this. The Caddis Countdown. As you can see, it's a picture of a countdown saying days, hours, minutes, and seconds. So this is honestly pretty, pretty huge. If you guys remember when the Loot Lake event or the Unvaulting event, whatever you want to call it, when that was actually happening, there was a light that went to the sky and it displayed how many days were left, how many hours were left, how many seconds were left, everything like that. It actually told us everything about that. So we know it's going to be a live event and another 
another thing. If you guys remember when the Rocket event was happening, if you guys don't know, before an event was happening, there was actually stuff on the TVs. And Fortori posted this as well. Soon the TVs will show this screen as a Caddis promo. So there's going to be stuff in the air telling us when it's actually going to happen. There's going to be stuff on the TVs. This event is going to be insane. But I want to put in perspective what this giant robot is actually fighting, aka Caddis. I actually have sound files for you guys. I'm going to play them. Listen very closely. This is what the giant robot that, that we're building is going up against. Listen, and I'll talk to you guys right after. So, yeah, that is what this giant robot is going up against in this huge event at the end of the season. But I want to get one thing out of the way real quick. I'm going to end off talking about this live event with this tweet that Fort Tory posted. He said, can't wait for the end of this season. We got a giant robot getting built at the pressure plant and a giant creature in the water. If they are going to fight with scenes very likely, which they are, would you guys want to see a live event or a sick cinematic? Honestly, that's a good question. Let me know what you want to see down below in the comments now that I'm thinking about it because a live event would be really really cool but then think about the cinematic aspect that could go into it it could be it could go either way to be honest with you I want to know your thoughts on this down below in the comments but now I'm going to be talking about the storyline and how that's going to end at the end of season 9 and how it's going to start at the beginning of season 10 this all ties into what's going on between the event and the map changes so make sure you stay tuned for this so the storyline through Season 9 in Season 10, I'm not going to lie to you guys, it's been kind of dry. No, not really that exciting. Well, it's all going to happen like that. Tilt the Towers or Neo Tilted, as you guys know, it's very colorful. Everybody likes it for its colors. If not, I like it for its colors. Well, that's actually going to be, the power is going to be out. The power is going to be out. It's going to be called a power surge. How we know this is through many, many ways throughout the map. The first thing is the actual battle pass. If you guys don't know, there's an actual rap called Power Surge. And I can't believe a lot of people didn't actually notice this, but I want to get one thing out of the way real quick. If you guys don't know, Neo Tilted is actually being powered by the thing over at Loot Lake, the Unvolted Event, whatever you want to call it. Neo Tilted is being powered by that. And then there's actually a little wire thing that goes from Loot Lake all the way to Neo Tilted. Well, they put so much detail into the inside of that you can see on screen right now, brought to you by Happy Power. He actually looked every he saw the inside of it. Why would they put so much detail into the center or the or the thing in general? in the middle of it if it's not going to open up for us to see it so that's going to open up at some point and you guys may know when it opens up or it gets cut the power gets cut off so the neo tilted is going to be the power is going to be cut off by the end of the season and we know that through that i want to bring out one other point as well and one more thing I want to pick up. Most of you guys probably didn't notice this. I personally didn't notice this until I was doing research for this video and everything like that. When the power cuts off for Neo Tilted off of the Loot Lake Generator, why are there windmills across the map for no reason? Am I right, guys? Like, there are windmills across the map, as you guys know this. Why would they just put them in the game for no reason? So what's going to happen when the, when the energy from Loot Lake gets cut off? As you guys know, it's going to get cut off. That's why the inside is so detailed. When that gets cut off, the windmills across the map are going to be used to power power neo tilted so it all makes sense in my opinion that's all i have for you guys in this video i'm going to keep it short honestly it's not that short but i couldn't make this video a lot longer i only picked out the most important parts because i don't want to make this video super super long for you guys i hope you did enjoy it summarizes this video just a little bit there's going to be a brand new map possibly coming there's going to be a brand new event coming all the credit for all the pictures all the information everything like that will be linked down below in the description guys go check them out everything like that i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you made this far into the video comment nick arg new map down below in the comments. I wonder how many people actually made this far into the video because honestly if you made this far into the video you are amazing. I thank you so much. Drop a like on this video if you enjoyed. Let's go for 25 likes if we don't have that already. Make sure you go and do that. It helps the channel out a lot and I'd really appreciate it. If you guys are new to the channel as always, I would love to have you on this channel. Make subscribe. I keep you guys updated with everything regarding foreign news. You will not be disappointed. And I would love to have you on this channel. Have a great rest of your day or night. And I will talk to you guys in a couple hours with a brand new upload on the 14 days of Fortnite. Day 8 challenge and reward. I might not be able to do that, sadly, because the reward is encrypted and we don't know what it is yet. If I find that out, I'll make that video. If not, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow with a brand new upload or a new stream. And I cannot wait to see you guys there.
Peace.